Oh, this is kind of funny. The inspiration behind my name. What's that look like? <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Sean Hook. I'm at Sonic Boom in Toronto, Ontario, and I'm about to do the LP spree. <laughs> I could drop the whole spree on this box set alone. I feel like Bob is like musical wine. It's gonna get better as I age. So Bob, I'm coming back for you, I swear. Ah, I think I found one of my first purchases. So when I got my first car, I grew up in South Lacan, BC. One of my first CDs that I purchased for that car was this record, Coldplay, A Rush of Blood to the Head. And being my first car and my, getting my driver's license for the first time, I wanted to drive as much as I could. And I listened to this record on repeat over and over and over again. Cha-ching, record one. Oh, Tom Petty. I just love his story and his documentary when he first moved to LA. He didn't know what to do. The band was there and they, he figured if he would call record labels, that was the best way to get his music heard, and he went to a payphone. And <laughs> lo and behold, he found a piece of paper with all the phone numbers for every record label in Los Angeles. It's like, what are the odds? Um, I really resonated with that, you know, going to LA. I, I live in LA now, and going there for the first time, I didn't know anybody there, what to do. I didn't find any <laughs> lists of numbers. He got through LA with music and, and uh, Kind of how I met a lot of people down there too. See, I could probably blow my whole budget on this section. The Beatles. I saw Paul McCartney live, I think four years ago in Vegas. He's vegan. His energy on stage was like he was 20 years old. Still today, and I, I have so much. He's an idol. <laughs> well, I don't own this, and this is like early, early, early stuff, like the deco tape, the deco tapes before Ringo Starr was in the band. But I'm grabbing this one. Shania Twain. I mean, come on. <laughs> this is one of my favorite John Mayer records, Heavier Things. I think one of the greatest songs ever written is Daughters. I would have that in my top 10. This was a big record for me in my formative years as a musician. Where's the country genre? Oh, yeah, let's go get some cash. Johnny Cash. <laughs> oh, man. He was, my grandfather was a huge fan of Johnny Cash. And my grandfather got me into music back in the day, wearing his ring right now. When I started to play guitar, my grandfather gave me his guitar to learn how to play. And uh, he was one of my biggest idols and inspirations, my grandfather. And Johnny Cash was one of his idols and inspiration so yeah it's a it's definitely has a big place in my heart Pink Floyd oh my god Elvis Press I need come on we gotta raise these budgets <laughs> one of the first songs I learned how to sing my vocal teacher got me to focus on was High and Dry by Radiohead and this record I listened to a lot the Benz Jeff Buckley love love Jeff Buckley one of the greatest voices and one of the greatest living performers and singers big inspiration for me this one's going in the bag. Boom. Obviously, Tragically Hip. Core Downey. Had an amazing, amazing tour that is unlike anything that anyone has ever done before. The courage for that man to, to get up on stage and to, in the face of what he's dealing with, to, to go out there and bring Canada together. Such a Canadiana moment. Kind of have to put this in the bag. Oh, Corey St. Clair for Tragically here. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, doing, great. Shopping, doing great. Doing great. I just bought one of your records. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing. Every little bit helps, man. How cool is that? <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge U2 fan. Um, Bono's just like, when you think of a front man, I think of Bono. He's charismatic and he, and he, he has a purpose beyond music. I should stop now because I'm probably gonna get to the Michael Jackson section and I'm like, okay, we need to take back four records and get these four. Man, okay. This is for sure pile. This is for sure pile. Can't take them all to the dance. <laughs> so one more. We can take one more to the dance. 
Oh, I love Jeff Buckley. Buckley's got my heart. And that's it. That's it. Today I went with Jeff Buckley, Grace, Joshua Tree, IU2, Johnny Cash, The Sun Singles Collection, The Beatles, The Decca Tapes, last but not least, The Tragically Hip, full, Fully Completely. And I just met Gord in the store. Crazy. It's a good omen. See, this would be a good one, because this is all their number ones. But it's also $50. <laughs> and I want to buy more records.